Hey everyone, I thought I was done with these Lars videos. Uh, I put out the Orion video the other night and somebody brought up the one uh, part in one, the one part in one, where the beat changes and it confuses a lot of people. Once again, this one isn't as blatant as far as people thinking the guitars were doing it. Uh, they kind of know the drums are doing it, but I want to show you how strange the counting is and how it sounds with a straight beat so that if you want to just hear the very basic version of it, I'll do that for you today. But uh, here's the part, just so you know. So before I break it down into counting, and I'll put the numbers on the screen to help you out, and I'll do that um, alternate reality thing again where I turn the screen black and white, uh, just to help you know when you're in the other, other side of the beat, I'm going to go ahead and play it in the straight fashion so you can really hear what's going on. But I thought it'd be fun to try it in the style of three different drummers. So when you think of straight ahead drummers, let's go ahead and start with the, uh, the most obvious straight ahead drummer who rocks, Phil Rudd from ACDC. How about a little Meg White from the White Stripes? What do you think Ringo Starr would do? All right, just having some fun. Anyways, now what we're going to do is we're going to break down the timing of what Lars does now that you kind of heard it in a straight manner and you know that the guitars are staying true like usual. What Lars does is he chooses a very interesting time to switch because this is in 6-4 time. And if you want to think about the kick drum being on the 1, 3, and the 5, the snare drum being on the 2, 4, and the 6, that's going to be what the normal world is going to be, the normal reality. So once again, I'll just play it real quick. 2, 3, 4. So it evens out really nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 repeats. So how does Lars throw this off? Well, he plays it straight for a little while. And then he chooses a, a certain moment where he hits three hits and it brings you into the other world. So it's one and two and three. So he does three <laughs> hits with the snare and the crash. And then he goes to the other side and now he's hitting the kick drum on the even numbers and the snare drum on the odd numbers for a while. One, two, three, four. So really it's just a flip-flopping of where the kick and where the snare go for a little bit. How he gets back on is actually the weirdest part of this whole thing. Because he does the alternate reality beat for a while, he's on the other side, and all of a sudden he has to get back to the real world. So he does this really bizarre series of hits. So to get back to base reality, to the real world, he starts to go... Now here's the funny part. While he's doing that, because he started on such a weird time, he actually starts those hits on the five. By the time he's back to the real world, we're actually on the third beat of the next measure. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play it through with the track and I want you to watch the numbers and watch where we come back in. Actually watch where we go out and watch where we come back in. Very strange. Once again, I mean, it's Lars Ulrich, it's Metallica. Their music is very uh, unpredictable sometimes, especially back in the Justice for All era. 
And so uh, I really like the fact that it's so odd and that I used to just play it by feel and I just knew where things went. I didn't count it or anything like that. And now that I'm really going deep and I'm trying to count things, uh, I'm getting a new appreciation for it, really. Sometimes I think if you look too far into things that they can lose their mystical quality, but not in this case. I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit because I'm getting a whole new appreciation, like I said, for uh, what I thought I already knew. So yeah, I think I'm gonna announce this uh, video on my live stream. So make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell or whatever you have to do, and it'll let you know when we're about to go live. So I think that should be a lot of fun coming up. And I'm experimenting with green screens, so we might do some crazy stuff soon. All right, we'll see you guys there. Bye.